Hi, and welcome to this video on denim products, sheet number seven, which is unit cost. My name is Dr. Sherry Levin. Let's get started. So we've worked the data input sheet, or I've worked with you on that, and on the sales sheet. Now we come to the input cost sheet. And notice on the right, you can see my figures. And on the left, you can see a blank sheet. So it's actually not too difficult. So for quantity, we're just going to, again, go into the formula line, put the equal sign in, go back to data input, and we're looking for the quantity of fabric. So it was for the basic blue jeans, it's three. And that brings us here. Again, I should have mentioned we're using the basic blue jeans first, direct materials, fabric. And then for zippers and rivets, I'm not even sure what a rivet is, but we'll click the equal sign, go back to the data input, zippers and rivets, basic blue jeans one, and the same process here. So we'll go back, the embroidery thread three, and back to data input, the embellishments is zero. And then the extended cost, we want to take the, the yards of fabric and multiply that by the cost of fabric per yard. So we know that we're going to start here, and we're, D3 is going to be part of our formula, and we're going to multiply that by something on the data input sheet, and we're going to look for the cost of fabric per yard. Okay, so let's see where that is. Fabric cost per yard, $6. Okay, same thing here. We're going to take the number of rivets, zippers and rivets, and multiply that times the cost, $1.25. And same thing, three yards of thread times the cost of thread per yard, three cents. And we're going to take, well, this is going to be zero. I'm going to still do it because even though it's zero, it may not be zero in another place. And we'll multiply zero times eight dollars. And then over to the right, we're going to put the sum in. So I will put the formula in here, equals parentheses, excuse me, for <laughs> sum parentheses, ending the parentheses. So it equals the sum of these numbers inside my parentheses. And I get $19.34, and we can check our figures over here. Okay, moving on to direct labor. For the cutting, the department, cutting department, we're gonna find the quantity. So we're gonna go equals back to our data input. And we're still here in production information. So for cutting, it is 11. And so we're going to take 11 and divide that by 60 because this is, the cost is direct labor cost per hour and these are times in minutes. So we're gonna take 11 divided by 60, and that gives us 0.18333. We don't need all of those decimal points, but we'll come back and get that later. And then the extended cost is going to be equals this quantity times the cost. So we'll go back here, and the cost is $18 per hour, and that will give us $3.30. And let's see, make all of these numbers. Okay, so for embroidery, we would go equals embroidery 5 divided by 60 minutes in an hour gives us 0.08 cents. And we'll extend that equals 0.08, oh, I'm sorry, minutes <laughs> times the embroidery is $22 per hour, so that gives us $1.83 for embellishing equals, I think this was a zero, right? Zero. So zero divided by 60 will give us zero. And over here, we don't have to really do this, but we will. Equals zero times 26 gives us zero. And finally, for the assembly, equals the time in minutes is six divided by 60. Gives us 0.10 and the cost 
is equal to the minutes times the assembly cost per hour, 15, and that gives us $1.50. Okay, next we're going to add all of these costs the same way we did for direct materials. So equals sum, parentheses, of these figures, close the parentheses, $6.63. And then we're going to put in the applied overhead. We can't go any further because you'll need to complete sheet six, which is manufacturing overhead to solve for the predetermined overhead rate in cell C18. And then when you come here, you will be able to complete this to get that figure. And then the rest of this works the same way. So direct materials, direct labor, applied overhead. And you'll do that for all of the three different blue jeans. And then at the bottom, you'll have total cost. Total ending inventory of finished goods will go here. All right, I hope this was helpful. This was a small little piece. If you need more help, please let me know. Thank you.